like only a good Jamaican, like only a born Jamaican will know this. Before good food waste, make belly bus. And like grandparents used to say, eat when you're done with your roll, yo. So, as I said, for good food waste, money have to make belly bus. Zeme, stay tuned for this video. Thanksgiving guys happy Thanksgiving so um, I do have Jamaican friends who don't celebrate it so pretty much it's just a day to be thankful for every single thing and so all everyone else who does celebrate it happy Thanksgiving and I hope you guys did have a festive day so I've been up um, I didn't get up too early because I didn't have work so everyone knows if you don't have work you try to sleep in a little later so I got up about 8 started cooking at 10 and I didn't um, finish cooking until 4 so between prep and actual cooking time I did put in the hours I went all out guys that diet I was on I ruined it I ruined that diet because trust me I went all out and I pretty much did not say no to anything. I tried everything except for the jerk pork. So we did a lot today. So I'll actually show you guys images of what we did. But I think we did around five or four, four to five different meats. Um, we did a lot of salads also. So we went out on it, guys. So. What I'll do is just take this opportunity also to show you guys what I actually eat throughout the day. So it's not anything strict that um it's not a big um jump from what I normally get. I just try to gradually change everything so it doesn't seem that hard. But I'm still on the ball guys, I'm still on my workout routine route. This is just a hump in the way so I'll do extra workout for all those calories I intake today so rules are meant to be broken this is me breaking my diet so I'm coming back guys I'm this this is not this is not where it ends for me and um, there are days when I'm gonna do that I'm going to do that some days I'm gonna do that so um, for you guys to see actual pictures of what I do eat, please stay tuned. So guys, for this one, pardon me for the presentation, but this is some potato with my favorite or national dish, the ackee and saltfish. This is coleslaw with mashed potato with no added um, ingredient, just cooked and mashed. I don't remember if it was baked chicken, but yeah. So with this dish, we have corn on the cob, we have blanched carrots, cauliflower, and um, string beans with uh, curry chicken. I didn't have the mac and cheese, but my husband just insisted on putting it in the plate, guys, so I didn't have it. So for this one, we have some over blanched uh, broccoli, freshly chopped lettuce and sliced tomatoes with corn on the cob, and some delicious jerk chicken with Jamaican flavors on this dish guys I have some baked mac and cheese I did have a few bites um, corn on the cob potato salad a slice of tomato and um, seen some lettuce fried chicken and fried plantains here we have the good old curry goat coleslaw lettuce and tomatoes and um, we all know curry goat, I, it's the bomb. It's the bomb, especially when spice, spice. So we have sliced tomatoes here, some wedge tomatoes. We have um, fried green plantain. We have fried chicken and we have coleslaw. And guys, you can see that my fried chicken is well fried. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. So I'm seeing um, boiled sweet potato. I'm seeing um, stir fried cabbage. 
I'm seeing a little water soaked lettuce, sliced tomatoes, and um, brown stew chicken. Okay, so we have corn on the cob. We have some diced potatoes. They're diced and baked. And then we have sliced tomatoes. We have um, coleslaw. And we have the good old oxtails. Yep. So guys, um, that was just a few of the dishes that I could actually um, find that I did take pictures of. So um, it's not necessarily what I eat every day. And um, those are random pictures. But I'm a creature of habit since this diet especially. Um, I leave for work like 6 a.m. I normally have my cup of peppermint tea. Um, instead of using a full tea, um, spoon of sugar, I'll just probably have half spoon of sugar. So it's not hot water, but it's hot water with a little taste. So it's not sweet or anything. The peppermint does overpower the sugar. So it's like not fresh water, but it's not sweetened. Um, some mornings if I'm hungry, I'll fry, um, I'll have a fried egg with um, fried plantains, a few slices of fried plantains. So that's in the morning, but for the, for most mornings, I'll just have my cup of peppermint um, tea. Um, I have break at 9. I normally have low calorie cereals with soy milk. Um, Sometimes I'll try to have like a granola bar with um, yogurt. It depends. But for the most part, whatever I'm telling you, I do this religiously five days a week. Um, I have lunch at 11.50. Sometimes I'll bring like a salad, which would be like lettuce, tomatoes, diced chicken breast. And um, sometimes I'll have, like, um, I'll probably try to see if I can find a picture of it. But there's a brand called Nice. They have different um, trail mix. Sometimes I'll just have that. And I take my bottle of water with me. So I'll have a trail mix with water or a salad with my bottle of water. So... That's really just when I get home in the evening, I'll have a hot meal that can either be um, two slices of boiled yam. I do chicken mainly because um, like, I'm afraid guys because practically everything is made in China. Now that I'm on, I'm on my diet, I'll rather do fish but I don't know what fish is real because I'm not going to the sea and even if I get it from the sea, how do I tell that, okay, those fish weren't put there. So, not that the chicken is any different, but I'll think, I, I, I definitely think I'll stick to the chicken. So, I'll have chicken for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll do pepper shrimp. So that's kind of my favorite. My husband knows how to do that perfectly. So he does it for me most times. So pepper shrimp. Um, some evenings I come home, I probably am not in the mood. So I don't know, guys. But I try to have something to eat um, hot. It's always a cooked meal. And... Um, after I eat, I like chill for an hour, then I head off to the gym. I don't do this every day. I try to go to the gym at least three times for the week. And when I go to the gym, I put in the effort to burn at least 700 calories per visit to the gym. So, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them to best suit. But that's pretty much what I do. So guys, this is the brand Nice. This is um the snack I just mentioned. So this one is fruit and nut trail mix. They do have a variety. So I'll grab them at Walgreens. And I'll have them for lunch sometime with a bottle of water. So um, 
in between I'll have uh, fruits and um, I try to drink a lot of water so pretty much on the weekend I'll wake really late so maybe let's say I'll get up at 10 I'll just jump right into doing my chores try to get the laundry done and everything then uh, in between I'll try to prepare dinner so I'll try to have anything but rice or flour or anything flour based so plantains as you can see in the pictures guy corns I don't leave corns out so I buy those um at the grocery store I get them like I think three four dollars so I buy at least um, a dozen corn per um, visit to the grocery store so I do have a lot of corns um, I'll try having green and dry plantains I'll have potatoes I'll do um, do them in different forms I'll do sweet potatoes I'll do yam so I try to do mostly ground provisions versus having the rice because um i've seen it and i've been told that rice that's a killer so i try to have mostly ground provisions i try to have my fruits and my water in between except for today which is thanksgiving guys i've not been consuming anything sweet except for like I, I want you guys to really think about what I'm saying with that um, tea that I have every morning. Like if I give it to someone, they'll spit it out and say this is hot water. Because the sugar I put in it doesn't really do much. It's more a mind thing. So I'm saying to myself, okay, sugar is in it. But you don't really taste it. So apart from that half spoon of sugar, I haven't been having anything sweet. So... It's a bottle of water to work each day. Um, work does provide water for us, so if I want refills, I can. Um, water all day. So, like I said, I broke my rule today, so I went all out. And may I go drink tonight? Like, good in Naga, I bed sober. Yeah? May I go all out. Yeah? Lick it to me, buddy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go hard and done, guys. Because if I break the rule already, might as well just all in, isn't it? Me? So, right out. So, yes, guys. So, um, like I said, this is not a perfect diet. It's just me make gradual changes. I'll do get better. And um, I'm hoping to weigh and give you guys update as to what I'm away now. So I'm gonna show you guys a picture of all that we did today. My husband and I we cooked a lot of food and um we invited a few friends over to help us because like we went out guys like we didn't make any plans so we woke up this morning he headed out and um got a few meat because um like I said, I'm doing a lot of chicken, so I didn't have much meat in the fridge. So he went to the grocery store, picked up a lot of stuff, came back, and it was teamwork, guys. Like, we got it done. And, like, food preparation does take a lot of time, and I'm going to show you guys all that we did. So we started at 10. I started cooking at 10, and then he went out to get some stuff. Then he came back, and um, we did this together. So 10, 11, 12... One, two, three, four. So that was like six hours of preparation and cook time. And big shout out to mommy. Mommy, you make me could I drink sorrel today. Like it was a cured bottle of sorrel. So you could taste the rum. You like thank you, mommy. Like shout out to you, mommy. We had sorrel. We got um iced tea and um Gatorade for the kids and of course there's always crystal punch here so stay tuned guys I'm just gonna show you a bit of what we did for this Thanksgiving dinner so guys we had rice and peas we had curry goat we had fried chicken we had jerk chicken we had oxtails we had um, jerk pork 
We had lettuce, tomatoes, corn on the cob. We had potato salad. We had coleslaw, spicy chicken, and some sauce. And guys, we slowed cook everything. Nothing was done in the pressure cooker. So thank you guys for staying in tune with me and watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're watching for the very first time and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscription button, guys. So we're growing slowly but surely. So thank you guys for your support. And uh, don't forget to share the video. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel as we grow. So thank you guys. Peace out.